Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Follow a Sketch February. So today is February 21st and this is today's sketch. Now I love this sketch because it is open to all kinds of interpretation. Not that any sketch can't be open to interpretation, but you could go as big or as little with your background here as your heart desired. I have a picture of my daughter and my niece. So let's see what I can do. I have pulled out a couple of the speckled spring papers. Now this is a Brutus Monroe paper pad. I think this was last year's spring paper pad. I feel like it was. Um, but they do have coordinating colors for what I have going on on my background. Now I will tell you guys that the background is definitely a cream base and my speckled springs are definitely a white base. So if white and cream together makes you cringe, probably not something that you're gonna wanna do, right? So I, however, don't mind mixing white and cream at all. Um, I am not, I will say I'm not 100% pleased with this layout, but when you are scrapping with very limited supplies uh, because three quarters of your room is packed, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, if you look at this and go, mm, not your best, I'm going to agree with you. Um, so I am adding on some chroma glaze right here, and it is in this teal green color. And I wish I just would have left the teal green color and not added a second one. Now, I did go ahead and use my heat gun because I figured if I... Uh, heat gunned this bad boy and it was pretty dry. When I put my second color on, it wasn't really going to mix and meld. And it didn't, it didn't, it didn't really mix and meld. Um, but because these are kind of translucent a little bit, um, the color is kind of mixed together. Now, to be fair, um, it's not dry yet. And the pictures that I took, it's still not dry uh, because you guys know most of the time I end up working on top of wet mixed media. So we'll see once it's dry. Maybe in the morning I'll like it a little bit better. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah. So the teal and the orangey peachy color, mm, not not too much of a fan together, right? Like I thought that they looked good in the jars next to each other, but actually on my page, mm, yeah, I'm not feeling it. So I am just going to keep on going though, because you know, limited supplies, <laughs> limited time, we're doing all the things. Now I had actually looked for my white acrylic paint and could not find it. Um, I had just used it the other day, so I knew it was still here. I knew that it wasn't packed up. And now that I'm looking over across my table, I actually see it. So there is that. I had planned on putting white acrylic paint down first, but you know what? These things happen. So I am going to go ahead and get my photo down. I'm going to start getting some embellishments down. And yes, I am using the hot glue gun. The hot glue gun has not been packed up. Uh, the hot glue gun hasn't, the heat gun hasn't. Um, what else has not been packed up? That might be it. The, the misty has not been packed up. The scissors, the tiny, I keep trying to put my hands in my pocket, but I'm not wearing a sweatshirt that has pockets. That's a travesty. Um, my tiny Sizzix sidekick is not packed up, uh, but the other die cut machines are. So, you know, we're living in, we're living in funky times. And since I am scrapbooking with limited supplies, I decide to actually put the butterflies on the layout. So I do this for two reasons. One, because the colors work and I will get some stuff used up. And two, the 
the colors work and I will get some stuff used up. <laughs> I know I said that, um, but really, I'm, I like I said, limited supplies right now, so I'm working with what I got. Now, sometimes limiting our supplies will cause us to use things that we normally wouldn't use. Case in point, the butterflies. I probably wouldn't normally use these, but there were five of them and it worked out well for my little bit of clustering that I have going on here. My decorations work with the butterflies. Now, would I have done this layout with these supplies and these butterflies had I had my full scrapbook room to, at my disposal? I'm going to I'm going to venture a guess and say probably not. But the layout is done. It's a great photo. The colors coordinate. I'm not all that pleased with the mixed media. But that's okay. Right? Like done is better than perfect. And I am not going to like every single thing that I do. So, we're just going to put on some word phrases and call this sucker good. So yeah, I definitely wish I would have done something different in the mixed media backgrounds. Um, this actually might be a layout that I mess around with once I get back in the groove and have a scrap room again and moved and all of that and might add some things to it. Um, Normally I don't. I would say 99.9% .9 of the times I leave layouts as they are and just move on. But I love this photo of the girl so much and I really don't think I've done it justice. But you know what? I've got other pictures of them. I'm just going to leave it the way it is and scrapbook more photos of them. So there, ignore everything I just said because I'm not going to redo this layout. Let's, let's be flipping honest. That's not going to happen. I scrapbook too much and so many as it is that I don't have I don't have time to go back and redo this stuff. Ugh. Anyway, guys, now I am finally going to shut up and be finished with this layout. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for playing along with Follow Sketch February. Remember, all the sketches are in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. And yes, I am Sandy Reversky. I am State Goddess. And I am Scrapping Reflections. They are all me. One person. Okay? Okay. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys again real soon for another video.